Chinese people. <laughs> uh, it's a compliment. I am. Thank you, Mrs. Petrillo. Chinese people revere the elderly. In this country, we throw away anything that's... We'll drink them out of a glass. <laughs> Blanche, don't you and Jake have dinner reservations for tonight? Yes, we do. He's late. Well, I'm sure he has a good reason. And even if he hasn't, who cares? He is a dreamboat. You know, girls, these like... <laughs> now, what's going on, Ma? Okay. I hope they could spare you this, Dorothy. But it's best you know what's going on. It's about Sonny Venduccio, as in the famous Venuccio Vendetta. I never heard of that. Who asked you? This is a speech, not a quiz. You'll be as old as Dorothy. Well, you can be a real pain in a ha-ha. <laughs> so, Dorothy, why don't you just lighten up, enjoy your hot fudge cake, and make a wish, okay? <laughs> Come on, kids. Make a wish and blow out the candles. I hope everybody gets what they wished for. Do you? She's experienced. Please welcome our new consumer reporter, Abby Wolf. Abby's a new consumer reporter. Doesn't that mean she's also my new boss? Boy, have you got some serious butt to kiss? I don't know. But Blanche, who did you see? Well, that was a particularly active time for me. I, I was looking quite stunning. You know, I just had my teeth bonded and I was really irresistible. Hello, oh, Blanche. A few people. How many is a few? Jeez. Are you kidding? I'm supposed to be dead. These are your twilight years. <laughs> Ma, I never needed you more. I'm about to do something that is very important to me. I mean, I could fall flat on my face. Fall the other way. It's funnier. <laughs> my butt's asleep. We don't get much company. Look, that's my decision. Goodbye, Kevin. All right, all right, all right. I'll tell you what. I'll sweeten the pot. You let Kevin play this weekend, and I'll take you out Saturday night. Each other. Even if I don't speak Mexican. Spanish. Whatever. I just don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh, now calm down, Blanche. There's probably a very logical explanation. You know, you're probably right. Oh, why would Fidel want another woman? After all, he's... Girls, quick, I need some advice. Wear half as much makeup and twice as much underwear. <laughs> Take it as a standing recommendation. Sophia, any advice on these earrings? Are they dressy enough for a really nice dinner? Oh, Blanche, don't tell me you're seeing Tom Gallagher again. No, I'm not. I'm seeing that man I told you about. Oh, Dorothy, a man called for you while you were out. Finally, now we can break out that bottle of champagne we've been saving. Ma. Come on, Dorothy, we might not get another chance. Oh, sure we will. We can just serve it at the wake. <laughs> Nuns. <laughs> Sophia, you have no idea how much we're gonna miss you. It's like losing a member of the family. Rose is right, Sophia. You're just like a mother to us. We feel like your daughters, too. I feel the same way. Rose, just remember, you're smaller than people say you are. You've got common sense, and you know what you're doing. That's why we couldn't sit on the couch for two days? No, I have to have dinner with her tonight. Why is that baby still here? Oh, well, they're still at the hospital. It's taken a little longer than they thought. Blanche, your sister seemed very nice. She was nicer than she's ever been. She was interested, charming, caring, loving. Just couldn't have been more wonderful. That's it? I don't want to hear another word. Oh, Cinderella's back from the ball and her three wicked roommates are jealous. <laughs> we are not jealous, Ma. We are angry. You left us sitting in jail. Hey, I sent over the bail money. You were out an hour later. I think that was just about... Miss Matsumo! Hi, Mr. Matsumo! Uh, I've been meaning to tell you you did a lovely job getting rid of the snails. 
It's nice not having to crunch when I go to the mailbox. I still don't think she should have been awarded the car. Not that she got to use it. <laughs> what out? I'm having an important moment with my ear. Dorothy, bro... Where am I? I must be dead. Is this heaven? <laughs> Sal, is that you, Sal? Sorry, ma'am. Who's Sal? My husband has been waiting for me up here for a long time. We've been going to a therapist together, and he's making some wonderful progress. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Stan. And who's that good-looking monkey with you? Don't be... I need something to eat. What, didn't you just have dinner? Oh, I couldn't eat. I was just too stunned. What are you going to do, Blanche? Oh, I don't know. I mean, it's not as if she were my daughter. No. Uh, how was your lunch with Jamie? It was magical. We talked for hours all about George. How George loved me. How George could never take his eyes off me. How George used to have to save his money so he could buy presents good enough for me. Oh, it felt so good talking about George. <laughs> Almost saw him, but I have to let it out. I'd like to teach the world to sing Hey. How about a mic Oh, where have you been? You remember when Rose... His closet. <laughs> Truby, honey, we have to talk. I, I know you signed a lease, but, well, considering Dorothy's tragic misfortune... I know, I know. But could I just stay a couple of days? I can't stand another minute in a hotel. Oh, I know what you mean. If I have to come up with one more fake name. Mm. <laughs> ball, which is being chaired this year by 35-year-old Blanche Devereaux. Twice. <laughs> I probably would have anyway, though. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry I can't come see you. This with rosy cheeks, the bright <laughs> smile, the distant, not quite fair expression. She looks that way every day. What's your. <laughs> Rose has been with the man. So, what if I was with Ernie? Uh, with Ernie? Congratulations. I'm so happy for I'm you. Oh, Ma, I'm making dinner. What would you like to eat? A nice thick T-bone steak, corn on the cob, and pecan pie for dessert. <laughs> now ask me what I can chew. <laughs> I'll start soaking the cornflakes now. <laughs> Girls, you will never guess who was just... Boy, was I embarrassed when I showed up for handball with Walter Cronkite. <laughs> By the way, if you ever run into Walt, don't tell him he looks like Captain Kangaroo. Miami's most glamorous anchor man is coming here? Oh, I'm gonna go freshen up. If his body... Well, we do have cheaper brands, but anyone who's, you know, serious about training wouldn't even go near them. Well, then we'll take those. Fine. You'll also need aerobic suits, warm-up outfits, wristbands, headbands, leg warmers. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Leg warmers? Well, you need something to keep your thighs warm. What are you using now? Friction, that's what... Even for you, what is going on? Well, Dorothy always makes me buy the same old lady's shoes. I never get anything new and exciting. It's just another reminder of what old age takes away from you. First husbands, then cute shoes. What's old age gonna take away from me next? <laughs> What to wish you both the best of luck. <laughs> what harm can it do? Because I'm going to win the award. <laughs> why don't you just shut up? Why don't you just shut up? Why don't you both just shut up? And now, for the moment that you have all been waiting for, the winner of the Best Friend of the Year Award yeah. is... <laughs> I'm just thinking out loud, but uh, isn't Atlanta where the Center for Disease Control is? <laughs> Coincidence. Hey, 
hey, these are all right. When I look through them backwards, you actually look demure. <laughs> Make your words thorough, honey. Make them fearless. Don't stop till you have said everything. Take two or three days if you have to. <laughs> Thank you, Blanche. You're a good friend. Oh, just wish Sophia were my mother. Then I could put her in shady pines. <laughs> I am drained of what little holiday spirit I had. Oh, it's too bad because we still have to shop for presents for each other. Oh, now, wait a minute. Listen, I've been giving this a lot of thought. I mean, none of us wants to go shopping in this terrible heat. So why don't we just put names into a hat and then we just have to pick out a gift for the one person whose name we pick. I'm not really a comedian. Oh, boy, it's a little hot up here. How hot is it? <laughs> I, I don't know, but it's really hot. Hi-ho! <laughs> As I said before... The tomato sauce is like me, hot and spicy. <laughs> and the mozzarella is like our love. It stretches, but it never breaks. Ah, oh, that's lovely, but I don't see what luck had to do with it. You were conceived that night, Dorothy. Ma. What's lucky is your father never... <laughs> Honey, are you all right? I'll be fine. Is this about Arnie? No, Blanche. She's upset because they keep changing the taste of Coke. I think that's when the pots she take over your body. <laughs> uh, I hate to admit it, but there may be something to Rose's positive thinking course. Last night after the meeting, I decided to write down all the negative thoughts that come into my head. <laughs> Now that's a good one. Oh, that's a nice one too. Really? You don't think I'm showing too much skin? Rose, move your thumb. <laughs> oh! Oh, and look at this one. Last year. What did you do last year, Sophia? What are you deaf? She just told you. I tried to juggle eggs. <laughs> Hi, Rose. Hi. What's the matter, honey? Is something wrong? I'm concerned about nuclear war. <laughs> Slanderous and downright malicious rumors in my political career. But this rumor is the worst kind of rumor. This is a true rumor. It actually happened, just like you said. Well, not with me, it didn't. Mr. Kessler, who was the woman? Well, I can't. <laughs> Dorothy? What is this, the Spanish Inquisition? <laughs> Look, I don't have to defend myself. If I want to see Glenn, I'll see Glenn. St. Olaf has been using moose ever since I can remember. Of course, it's his own professional secret which part of the moose he uses. <laughs> but it'll keep your hair in place and winds up to 130 miles an hour. I just don't believe you, Rose. Ask I love you. I tell you, that Disney World Hotel was just wonderful. It had everything. Good service, delicious food, a beautiful room. What did you think of the rides? They got rides? <laughs> Don't worry about it. You had a good time and you never had a stand in line. We'd like to stay in chat, but we want to get settled in our new place. <laughs> Whiskey. That explains why every Sunday after services he'd stand up and yell, I can lick any man in this church. <laughs> Cat, just the person I was looking for. I have a question for you. Strictly hypothetical. Let's say by the curse. Besides, I'm doing this for your own good. For my own good? The last time you said that, you volunteered me for psychological experiments. <laughs> hey, the pay was good. <laughs> and to this day, nobody, nobody can make it through a maze faster than you can. Say, <laughs> Silas Marner, Paul Bunyan, nothing. 
You know nothing. People from Minnesota are considered well-read if they get through the Sears catalog. <laughs> Give me back my book. This is why Hollywood won't get it either. I will not have my words coming out of Glenn Close's mouth. I'd rather die. Me and Fabrizio Rubino. <laughs> We were on the verge of a passionate love affair when Destiny intervened. Don't tell me. His wife, Destiny Rubino. Why, <laughs> boy, did she have a temper. She dragged him away by the hair on his back. <laughs> smashed his skull with a ravioli. I'm staying out of it. Good. Do you want to go light a fire under her? No, I don't think so. Why not? Because I think she's getting burned enough as it is. Look, would you just go tell Blanche to hurry up? I've got to teach this woman what being on time means. Wait a minute. I don't want you teaching her anything. You know... Any of those things, but for one brief moment, Virginia would think she'd hit the jackpot. <laughs> That's one is a tram. <laughs> Are they here yet? Uh, no, not yet, but uh, Rose left for the airport over an hour. And you know what he did? He laughed. Well, right then and there, I started growing very fond of Mr. Preston Bougainvillea. And over the next several months, we saw quite a lot of each other. Oh, that's really very <laughs> sweet, Blanche. I know. Yes. Did I complain when she ruined your sweater when she washed it in the ditch out back? She ruined my sweater? Oh, maybe I shouldn't have said anything. Oh, come on, Ma. She's not going to be here that much longer. I mean, I wish she'd try to be patient. She's out with Blanche right now, looking at another place. And how many places has she seen in the past three weeks? A psychiatrist. It's about time. <laughs> the woman gives names to her gingerbread men. I'm ready to go to the airport. Oh, I'm going that way, Sophia. I can take you. Oh, thanks, Rose. Fine. Wait a minute. You can't run out of here. We want to hear more about this doctor of yours. Oh, well, there's not... Blanche, where are you going? I have a date. I thought the doctor said you were to take it easy. He did, but I'm just going stir-crazy. I have to get out of this house. Blanche, I think you should stick to the doctor's orders. I think Dorothy's right. Oh, nonsense. Who knows my body better than I do? Any man in Miami not attached to a woman or a respirator. Do your laundry entertain you? In fact, it's terrific, but that's not why I wanted to stay. It's just a bonus. I wanted to stay because I'm happiest being with the people I love. Miss Stanley. Stanley, you know, in all the years that we've been together, I don't think you ever rose. <laughs> And then for dessert, he took me to this most romantic little bistro. And, and while the waiter was glazing my peaches, Richard leaned over and took my hand. And you know what he said? What? Our biggest worry will be tank sweat. <laughs> Dorothy, I'm getting tired of dating your mother. I promise this is the last time this will ever happen. Okay. Coming, Ma. Uh, just one more thing. What is it? When we are through with dinner and she begins to pick her teeth... I promise, I'll ask her to keep them in her mouth. <laughs> I'd love to. Oh, hello there, Stanley. Oh, hi, guys. You just wait right here, honey. You will never guess what this impulsive, wonderful fool just did. He bought a fire engine red convertible, put it on his credit card. I have to get a wrap. Hey, dude, so... Is. Well, I don't know why I put you through all this. Now that I think of it, I guess there were times that Charlie was a little boring. Not that I loved him any less. That's all I ask, Rose, that, that you love me even when I'm boring. Oh, I do, Miles. Okay, it's time to take off. We thought you were in your bedroom. Oh, where have you been? We stay. Stand. Yes, we had the most wonderful time. I'll tell you all about it in the morning. But Blanche, this is the morning. Well, so it is. So it is. <laughs> Maybe someday you'll write to me. Harry. Oh, God. I'm stunned. I'm just stunned. I know. <laughs> I feel like such an old fool. 
not just a fool, but an oaf. We were just hypothesizing. If you were to invite any two people, living or dead, to dinner, who would they be? Well, Lillian picked Winston Churchill and Browning without his wife. <laughs> Rose, whom would you pick? Well, it's the reason I'm here. I knew it. I knew you had a reason. Better be a good one. I'm dying. What? I'm dying. Days? Saturday and Sunday, he and the other farmers became volunteer policemen. Of course, the only crime in St. Olaf was that more people didn't practice better oral hygiene. <laughs> so, most of the time, they just sat around the jailhouse and took pictures of each other behind the bars in goofy poses. No time. I mean, I don't worry. Really. Just lie down. Come on, get okay. to bed. We'll start timing the contractions. Oh, I think one's coming on. Oh, 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 yikes! <laughs> Blanche, cut it out. I'm trying to get some sleep. <laughs> My Becky is in late. She'll do a fine job. No, Rose, you don't understand. She only thinks that she has a job. I worked it out with the owner, Mr. Porter. This flu has really knocked her for a loop, and her doctor says she has to rest for at least three weeks. I've been working so much, I figured this is the only way I can get someone to keep an eye on her during the day. Dorothy, that's dishonest. Maybe my Prince Charming will get moonstruck and sweep me away the way you did, Rose. Oh, I hope so, Dorothy. You deserve it. I want to thank you for being a good friend and a good person. You are very, very welcome. I do love her. Oh, you know Sam down the block, the one who thinks he's hiding his stomach by wearing Hawaiian shirts? <laughs> yeah, Sam is fine. His brother went for a checkup seven years ago. The doctor said he was great. Three days after the exam, he was dead. Ma, he owed money to a guy named Face and got thrown off a pier. <laughs> I'm not gonna let you do that. I've been doing a lot of thinking. and If after all the years of love and companionship, Fernando and I are meant to part company, I'll just have to accept that. Time to time, life deals you an unfriendly hand. There's nothing you can do about it. I guess there's a lesson to be learned here. How could a stand have burned to the ground? I don't know. We were so careful. I have a confession to make. The reason I sent you two ahead and said I'd lock up is because I wanted a cigarette. And I guess I didn't put it out. Oh, well, I wouldn't. Hi, Ma. What you doing? Thinking. About what? About wind, water, rocks, man's place in the delicate balance of nature's harmony. Where we're going, where the road ends. Gee, Ma, I never knew you were so philosophical. I'm not, it's those damn infinity. Perhaps I should explain privately. I cannot believe this, I just can't. I give you four of the best hours of my life. <laughs> and this is the thanks I get. Blanche, my darling, I can explain. Oh, you have disappointed me, Derek. No to the Miss St. Olaf beauty pageant. It was 1951. That was the first year they let humans enter, too. <laughs> I was way ahead after the evening gown and log rolling competition. People don't realize how hard it is to roll a log. Too late. Bit. You know, if there was some rain coming down and a soft train whistle in the distance, this moment would have the makings of a first-rate country song. Maybe he's sick. Why, the plane trip alone could kill him. Besides, even if he did get home safely, who knows what kind of care he would get. Nobody loves that pig as much as you do. As much as we all do. If you all think it's really best for him, I guess he should stay. Oh, thank you for caring so much. No, 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 not me, not oh, me. Dorothy, no, no, please. I'm not good at this. Oh, please. This is a pretend microphone. <sighs> it's really just a hairbrush. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Rose, ready? Go. 
This is Rose Nyland. We're here chatting with my good friend Dorothy's born at. And it was a surprise. <laughs> How is that possible? Another man showed up? <laughs> what I mean is, I had never seen a man before. <laughs> Kisses and sink your teeth into my ripe, juicy flesh. <laughs> Let me make you happy, Ham. All I need to know is that you want me as much as I want you. That's right. There's nothing sadder than your daughter losing it before you do. Look, Ma, I'm not going to mail it. I just read somewhere that you can settle your feelings about someone even after they're gone. And there were a lot of things I never told Pop while he was alive. I never even got to say goodbye, so I'm getting all this stored up emotion out. In a... Mr. Belvedere is a humble servant, Stanley. You're a horse's ass. <laughs> hey, big guy. Everybody, this is Dr. Jerry. <laughs> Dr. Jerry, oh, it must be great having just one name. He's not like that. He's very special. He's not the type of man who wants to hop into bed after just one date. And this is one of his attributes? Yes. I love it. In fact, I think I love him. Oh, honey, Rappers, that's wonderful. But I... It's in the hallway, and I want to see why my bambine was up so late. <laughs> Don't call me your bambina. Dominic, you wake the bambina. Stop saying that. Don't raise your voice at your mama. You know, you're not too old for me to take you across my knee. You lay a finger on me, your teeth will be back in Sicily before you... Are. <laughs> I might be responsible for the decision you're making was too much. Dorothy, this is crazy. It's not like you pushed me toward this decision. You didn't even know I was thinking about it. Blanche did. She saw it in your eyes. <laughs> My eyes? Frank, you're a very special person. I knew that the moment I met you, and I realized you felt the same. You call them the aliens. They are the chungs, and they happen to be very nice. <laughs> they are not very nice. They eat dogs. Ma, they do not eat dogs. Right. It's just a coincidence that not one ever pees on their lawn. <laughs> Ma, you made that up. Uh, Sophia, we're not talking about them anyway, but... <laughs> Hurry up, get dressed, we're gonna be late for temple. Ma, it's Tuesday and we're Catholic. <laughs> oh, I just don't believe I'm about to see Jamie again. Last time I saw him was at George's funeral. Of course, I didn't look all that good. Red is such a bad color on me. You wore red to George's funeral? Like a fool. I wondered where they moved the party to. <laughs> what is it? This is the ladies' room. This is where ladies go to the bathroom. Wow. How do you lift this baby up? <laughs> Isaac, later, later. I guess you have to stand back when you flush this thing. <laughs> it's more. They're admitting who to my country club. <laughs> oh. There's a difference, Blanche. That bigot was there for you. Hello? I feel like working this body up into a manic frenzy. <laughs> well, great. We still have time to get to class. Oh, who cares about class? The circus is in town. I say we go look up the Flying Finale Brothers. <laughs> I but it hadn't slept so well in years. Yes, but it certainly has nothing to do with this rock. Look, I like Marguerite as much as you do, but she's been here a week and she is not doing a very good job. I think she's doing a terrific job. Why, ever since she gave me that potion, Norman's been on me like white on rice. Uh, <laughs> I'm talking about how white. I suppose all the greats knew this feeling. <laughs> and the thing is. After all this, I've decided not to sell my book. It's too good to sell. They can publish it after I'm dead, like Vincent Van Gogh. 
Van Gogh was a painter, Blanche. Whatever, it's all the same thing. Oh, so I suggested they take them. Blanche, both Rose and I told you not to interfere with their social lives. I know it, I just thought it might be fun for them. Oh, being set up on a date is never fun. In Sicily, everything is set up. Dates, marriage, death, especially death. <laughs> That's why whenever I go into a restaurant... Please. Oh, now, the whole experience was too painful. Please. We just want to put it out of our minds. Please. Hit it, Rose. <laughs> to say what I feel Miami has so much appeal oh. oh, thank goodness we're home That's the worst trip I've ever been on Blanche, how can you say that? Oh. How can she say that? We lost our luggage We slept in a hotel lobby Our purses were stolen We won Zippo on the game show But we still have our friendship We made up on the plane sex Obviously you fell off the wagon <laughs> and on to a naval base. <laughs> it was just after I'd lost George, and it just seemed an appropriate thing to do. Of course it did, and your husband had just died. So what? You're a trained technician. You, you gotta be a man, for God's sakes. <laughs> you know, to tell you the truth, uh, Lou, uh, women are capable of more than just cleaning these things. Is that so? Well, as long as you ladies are playing plumber, why don't you play moving man, too? Fine, fine, we will. You have to find all the other things you are, all the other ways you please people. There's a lot more to you than you know. You know, sometimes I look in the mirror and I see my mother's face looking back at me. Not all the time, just every now and then when, when, when the light's too bright or, or it's too early in the morning or late at night or, or I look... Blood! <laughs> 40% off? Oh, you bet she's easy. <laughs> sure, Dorothy will love that. Okay, Frank, I'll set it up. Gotta go. Who is that? A florist. Guess who just got a terrific deal. Much to tell. I, he's a great guy, and I, I like him a lot. Can't wait to meet him. And his eligible doctor friend. That's right. Well, he's very busy, but we'll have him over soon. Well, when? It's soon, I promise. Uh, come on, Sophia, let's go. Ma, have a wonderful trip, and call me the minute you get there. And please, Ma. Creatures. I really wanted to help. So you decided to become a shepherd? No. I decided to give Gunter a case of scotch. And he really appreciated it until he discovered what mean drunks sheep are. Not this time. I'm tired of being the tonto with the group. I tried to get another ticket and I couldn't. And this time we'll have to draw cards. I missed out on the Vita. Now, forget the cards, Ma. I am not about to give up a chance to meet Bert Reynolds. Me neither. At two, Blanche. <laughs> Sophia, Mr. Bert Reynolds is one of our finest living at. And I strutted up to you and I said, may I have this dance? And I said, the pleasure would be all mine. And I said, I know it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, those damn eyes. I still haven't seen it. Not that prettier has anything to do with it, but I just am. You... you know, Rose, I have a confession to make. I have always dreamed of the chance to raise another baby. Well, Dorothy, if you're lucky, maybe someday one of your uncles... <laughs> but we're a family nonetheless, and you can't break us up. Well, as moving as all this is, I can't help you. I gotta file my report and either Mrs. Devereaux has to bring the house up to code or somebody's gotta leave. Wait just a minute. These women no longer live in my house. Blanche, what are you saying? I'm saying that it's not... It's better with men. Oh, come on. That's false security. No, it's not. I was safer with Charles. I was never once robbed or murdered when I was with Charles. <laughs> Look, you could just as easily have been murdered living with Charles. I'm surprised she wasn't... I wanted to see if you were paying attention. 
I think you're just terrific. I feel awful stupid about last night. Don't, Blanche. I know it's not easy. I'd love it if we could make plans for next week, my tree. How about if I call you Monday? Great. <laughs> Great. John? Elaine, hello. Hi. It's all a big mistake. Voila. Oh, will you? Oh. <laughs> All my keys are bent. <laughs> Don't just stand there. Applaud the mines. You know where to find me. Dorothy, I have terrible news. We don't have an MC for the talent show. Kent Ferguson, the KTMB weatherman, has just dropped out. Oh, you have to be kidding. What happened? The feed store? <laughs> Worse! I fed BBs to my prize lamb Harlan so he'd weigh in heavier at the county fair. <laughs> oh, my God, Rose. How do you sleep at night? I knew it was wrong all along, but I wanted to win first prize, and I would have... I nearly came to me. Why not take the best features of each lady to create one perfect lady? That is what you see. You know, it is not hard to understand why you are such good friends. You compliment each other very well indeed. Oh, thank you, Laszlo. Oh, one more thing. Truly can't <laughs> Hi, girls. How's it hello, going? Hello. Well, Angelo, what are you doing here? My brother wants to try out for the telethon. I got a song I used to sing with my partner. We call ourselves Tino and Fino. I'm warning you, Angelo. No political stuff. We don't want to have any trouble. Yeah. <laughs> I am so sorry for the intrusion. Uh, Frida Claxton, wasn't she the woman who owned that old house on Richmond Street? Yes. <laughs> I am nothing but a cheap, tawdry slut. <laughs> Don't tell me. Is it Blanche? <laughs> I really want to thank you for coming over, Jerry. Actually, I wasn't going to, Blanche, but I figured... Well, Rose has a date, and I don't. <laughs> what are the odds of something like this happening? <laughs> It's probably a better chance of getting struck by lightning in a house you won from Ed McMahon. Blanche, I'm sure it's a fluke that nobody called you for a date. They must have painted the men's room wall. I killed her. I might just as well have shot her with a gun. Oh. Honey, the woman was 83. She had a heart attack. It was just a coincidence. Now, you haven't slept for two nights. You have to stop torturing yourself. Yes, you right. Well, Rose, honey, you can't sleep again. No. Oh, Rose, you have to put this terrible thing behind. Closet, I don't even know what to wear uh -oh. with the first night on the ship. <laughs> a life jacket and a great big smile. I wonder what Rose is doing right now. You mean you wonder if she's doing it right now? <laughs> no, I just wonder if maybe we didn't push her into something too fast. But I... <laughs> And then, you're gonna love this, Dom DeLuise takes me by the arm and insists I tell Bert the story. Sophia, I don't want to hear any more about it. Not even the part when Bert and Dom insisted I repeat the story to Lonnie Anderson? I better make sure we packed everything. <laughs> well, thanks again. Goodbye, Francis. You be good now. Now, don't you worry about a thing. You go ahead. What a beautiful little thing. Oh, yes. What is it, Rose? A boy or a girl? Of course. <laughs> I mean, is it fellas getting out? Gee, that's gonna be rough. I bet after 10 years in the jug, he's gonna be pretty short on foreplay. Come in. Hi. Hi. It'd be a terrible scandal. And then one day I had to make a decision. Benjamin invited me to our senior prom. I didn't know what to do. Should I go out with this boy I really cared for? Or should I bow to the pressures of an unjust society? 
<laughs> found you some real good pizza like you used to get in Sicily. <laughs> Boy, do you stink. Dorothy, Dorothy, relax. Just, just try and be yourself. I'm sorry. I know you can do this. I'm sorry, sorry, I'll get it this time. All right, here. All right, all right, we will. You? you? Do you have any experience? No. no. You're hired. <laughs> making pizza really brings back a flood of childhood memory. date you, lady. Sweet Jesus, I've just done the impossible. I converted one. I'm so upset about it, I can't sleep. Well, then why don't you give him a call? Oh, honey, I can't do that. He just tried to persuade me to see him again. That's out of the question. I don't understand what's wrong with Jake. I think he's wonderful. And you're miserable without him. Well, that may be, but in some ways, in some very important ways, we're just... Decisions? <laughs> we're very sorry, sir. Um, uh, nurse, do you know what happened to uh, Mrs. Devereaux? Oh, Mrs. Devereaux canceled her surgery. She checked herself out this morning. Share their lives and live in harmony. Of course, they can't mate or the mice would explode. <laughs> you want me to drive tonight, Dorothy? Oh, Rose, listen. I'm not going to the meeting tonight. Well, how come? I, I'm not comfortable there. I'm not... Got one funny line? <laughs> and how about that sequel? <laughs> Dorothy, what the hell are we just talking about? Look, Ma, Stan and I have a long history together, and it's nice that we're finally able to talk to each other as friends. Friends are one thing, Dorothy, but he's your ex-husband, and you've given him the wrong guy. Of course, yak snacks. Hi, girls. Hi, Swin. It's Finn, Blanche. Whatever. <laughs> Dorothy, could I borrow your white windbreaker? Floyd McCallum is taking me sailing today on his yacht. Um, Blanche. <laughs> you know, I, I guess he just felt so guilty about canceling last... <laughs> what, what are you doing? That's the evil eye. I just put a Sicilian curse on you. You're not going to have a moment's peace till you hold that tree away. <laughs> you got me shaking in my boots. <laughs> Oh, Ma, why'd you do that? You just made matters worse with that ridiculous curse. I'm just telling you what she told me. Sorry, Ma, I, I, I wasn't paying attention. I, I keep thinking about Rose. Oh, just forget about her. If she doesn't want to be our roommate, that is fine with me. In fact, I'm happy she's leaving. <laughs> you see how happy I am, Dorothy? You try it, go. <laughs> if you don't mind, Blanche, I'll laugh on the inside. You trust. <laughs> There's our cab. Oh, girls, don't forget to pick me up one of those hats with ears. We won't forget, Rose. Oh, it's not for me. It's for one of the girls in my Sunshine Cadet troop. Yeah, we know, Rose. <laughs> I mean, I'm too old for that silly stuff. But the girls love it. Right, Rose. You won't... Oh, by the way, I forgot. This came for you. A postcard from Bernice. I don't want it. Well, Sophia, I thought you missed her. I do. But if I read that, I'll only miss her more. Ma, I know you're lonely for Bernice, but it's been over a month now. It's not just Bernice. The whole gang is gone. Gladys went to live with her daughter. Edie got married. It'll help, Rose. Of course we'll do oh, it. Oh, thank you. You are the best friends I've ever had. Now, before I lose the nerve, I better make the plane reservations. Did she say plane reservations? I thought her aunt lived in Fort Lauderdale. She did, big mouth, but she's being buried in the Bahamas where she spent her winters. Damn. Rose <laughs> Nyland. What is that giant velvet painting of dogs playing poker doing out on my front lawn? Intriguing passers-by if I know my art lovers. And the clothes, and the trunk, and the boxes. 
You're not having a yard sale, are you? What's wrong with that? Are you kidding? I don't... <laughs> Finished a sketch of Tuna's little pals, the Dinkelheimer twins. <laughs> this book is really coming along. Yeah, and you can chalk it all up to synergism. Yeah, synergism. What would we ever do without it? <laughs> oh, God. A liver spot? It's benign, Oliver. My father had liver spots. He looked like a Dalmatian. <laughs> so, what's this family talk about, guys? It's private, Oliver. Oh, I see. So would you please excuse us? Sure. <laughs> Oliver, get out of my house. It. Why did we get off that lovely jetliner in Minneapolis and switch to this rickety old thing? Because the jets are too big to land at St. Gustav. St. Gustav? I thought we were flying to St. Olaf. Well, St. Olaf doesn't have an airport. Now, the only way you can get to St. Olaf is to fly to St. Gustav and then take land transportation to St. Olaf. They sent a bullet to bite on. Yeah. <laughs> Your choice, Blanche. Uh, Razor or cream remover? Cheesecake. <laughs> this reminds me of the first time I ever shaved my legs. It was at a slumber party when I was 11 years old. What's a slumber party without snacks? <laughs> Instead of cheesecake, let's have oatmeal cookies. Thank God, get back to your own beds. Hey, everybody. Well, what are you doing? Oh, I've been tinkering with the heater trying to get it to work. Oh, Rose, you're a genius. Boy, that's a sentence you don't hear every day. <laughs> She's working great now, except for one little thing. I turned the air conditioner on instead of the heater and not... To me, these feathered fools are so much meat. I and mine shall dine bon appetit. <laughs> and from that day to this, Turkey Lurkey, Goosey Lucy, and Henny Penny... I don't even know who Marcus Allen is. <laughs> And let me put it to you another way. Rose, when are you going to face up to the fact that your daughter is not the goody two-shoes you think she is? What do you mean by that? Rose, what would you call a girl who sleeps with a man she has known for one day? A damn good sport. I thought you had to work. You told me you had a last-minute emergency. <laughs> so they're all liars. That's an asset when you're planning a surprise like this. Come on, we've got reservations for dinner and dancing. Ma, I bet you were in on this all along, weren't you? Of course I was. These Dimwitz' idea of romance is a Coors Light and a Love Boat rerun. All right, let's go. Uh, Max, there's something I've got to say to you. What? The Knishes. They're pretty good. Apology accepted. <laughs> Who asked you? <laughs> Picture it. Sicily, 1921. A beautiful young peasant girl saves her lira and takes a trip to Paris, the city of lights. Also, the only place a guy can wear a cape without getting a lot of funny looks. <laughs> She won the... He may refuse the news we bring. We must lie and try to warn the king. Ooh. Ooh, that hurts. I'm not having any trouble. Why is it that doesn't surprise me? <laughs> okay, everybody on their feet. Whirly birds! Whirly birds! Dinner. That's right, and a bottle of gin. <laughs> Our dinner was just wonderful, Raymond. And the rolls were the best I ever tasted. You want one? <laughs> Max, will you go down the hallway and just look at the roll of Blanche? I said, well, surely if I have to. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so I came back very quickly, and he said, let me hear you read it. And I did, and then he said, thank you very much, and that was that. Then I was called in again, and this time Betty White was there. And uh, she didn't have... I was sit and feel sorry for myself, which is what I did all the time. But you got better. Yeah, because she stopped coddling me. She screamed, she hollered day and night. She made me do my therapy. She forced me to rebuild my life because she knew I could. 
And for that, I'll always be grateful. Ah, uh, thanks, Ma. I only have one question. Fifteen years. <laughs> How long did you wait after George died? Till the paramedics came. Ma. <laughs> As the Reverend was performing the funeral service. Eight. Why can't you people see that there's another point of view? Now get away from here. We've you got work. Get your hands off me! You know it. Write it down, all of you. <laughs> Dorothy. These are from celebrities. Oh, Rose, that's private. La Wagner and Sonny Bono. <laughs> Dorothy, my poor, sweet, dead-end Dorothy. You're sending flowers to yourself again, aren't you? <laughs> Much noise in the living room. So, did you make a decision? Before I can even start to think about that, there's something I gotta do for me. I know it's gonna sound crazy, but I need to ask for your forgiveness. What? I'm the one who should be down on my knees after what I did. George, the day you died, or didn't die... I didn't murder him. Of course you didn't murder him, honey. He probably had a heart attack. Now, look, his family has to be notified. Now, did he ever speak of any family? He had the sister he lives with. Yo, what's her name? Oh, his name was Al Beatty. Her name's Beatty, too. She never married. <laughs> Ribs, great. Why don't you just kick the dentures out of my mouth? <laughs> disaster. Sweetheart, give yourself some credit. It wouldn't have been a total disaster without you. Oh. Really, Mr. No Guy with an Earring parks my car. My God. You'd think an elegant restaurant like that would bring out the best in a man. What it brought out was $250 from my wallet. Look, they're putting a bunk bed and a chair. Oh, look, Dorothy, a chair. This isn't going to be so bad. This isn't going to be bad at all. Yeah, well, I suppose. Oh, Blanche, can we get out of here? It's starting to get dark. You know, Dorothy, in some way... Well, I didn't mean anything by that, honey. Actually, I tend to fall between sizes myself. Usually, I'm smack dab between a four... And a 16. <laughs> Hi, girls. Hi, Rosie. Oh, Dorothy, is that your dress for the museum fundraiser? Uh-huh. Well, let's see it. Uh, I was as much to blame for all this as you all were. How? Oh, by talking so much. As you know, I've always talked a lot about my men, and, well, sometimes I've stretched the truth just a little. It's an old Southern tradition, storytelling. Just because you didn't have a good time is no reason. What you doing? Just looking through the old photo album. Oh. Boy, you were a cute kid. Yeah, I was sort of cute. Oh, look, there I am at seven. An angel. Uh, here I am at 11. Adorable. Oh, look, here I am at 15. The beginning of the end. <laughs> Hi, I wish I had a codicil. <laughs> I'll get it. Hello. Sophia, the perfect after dinner treat. A nice dish of jello. I hate jello. <laughs> if God wanted peaches suspended in midair, he would have filled them with helium. <laughs> what? Beat it, Rose. I'm... Well, well, Peter. <laughs> we just swing the way the wind blows, don't we? And who's this? Glinda, the good witch of the North? You disgust me. After the way you've treated me, I should scratch your eyes out. For instance, I'm tolerating this evening with Rose and Blanche because of my friendship with you. I, I can't believe I'm hearing this. Well, look, let's not make a big thing out of this. 
Obviously, we can't go to the Mortimer Club, so we'll go to another restaurant. Boy, did I misjudge you. You know, Blanche and Rose were right. You! It's because I've joined this group, and they teach you to use positive thinking to bring health and success and love into your life. There's a meeting tonight. You want to come? Oh, Rose, come on. Forget it. This is just a fad. I mean, this is for, for gullible people who believe in magic. Dorothy, you're not very open-minded. I am so. Now, shut up. Fortune. <laughs> that man is guilty. Oh, come on. That's circumstantial evidence. I mean, it's not enough to convict him. Well, actually, the more damning evidence was a snapshot they found of Duncan dressed in scuba gear, dragging Tippy's body down the stairs wrapped in a carpet. <laughs> And Jay? Yes. And you still used every cheap ploy to nab him before we had a chance? Yes. Then what do you have to say for yourself? Damn, I'm good. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Devereaux. Uh, if the president decides to come, this administration would appreciate it if. Uh... Dorothy, do you want to do the honors? Maybe later, in private. <laughs> I mean, fasten the floor flange. That's all we have left to do. Oh, no, honey, you go ahead. Later, I'll break a bottle of champagne over the flush valve. <laughs> oh, girls, it is beautiful. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Blanche. Hey, are you going out? Yes. Oh. Chimes. Oh, she loved wind chimes. Had them in every room. And my balcony. Oh, I remember as a girl of 10, I used to wander out here, and all the little boys from all around would come and serenade me. I see London, I see France, I see Benji's underpants. Mr. Broke your doll. It was 50 years ago. It was very traumatic. She was my favorite doll. <laughs> I didn't talk to Gloria for months, but eventually, Blanche, I realized sisters are harder to replace than dolls, so we made up. <laughs> I thought I'd give you a hand with the dessert. What's wrong, Rose? It's not a team, Rose. It's a composer. Couldn't you pretend it was a team and make him look stupid? <laughs> Girls, I just got a letter from my brother Clayton. He says he's coming for a visit next week and he has a big surprise. Oh, well, that's wonderful. I don't know what the surprise is, too. Clayton's met himself a girl. He wants me to meet up. Honey, your brother is gay. <laughs> Dorothy, I think that gay thing was just a phase he was... The tomato sauce is like me, hot and spicy. <laughs> and the mozzarella is like our love. It stretches, but it never breaks. Ma, that's lovely, but I don't see what luck had to do with it. You were conceived that night, Dorothy. <laughs> Ma... What's lucky is your father never... Hey, Justin, we do a show about women who live together, and they jumped on it. Well, Rose, that's a great idea. We already have two women lined up. We just have to find two more. Well, my God, Rose, open your eyes. This is exactly the kind of exposure I've been looking for. Please, enough of your exposure. We've already lost three gardeners. <laughs> Stanley, if you're doing what I think you're doing, you're in big trouble. I was, I was just remembering the first time you ever kicked me out of bed and I had to sleep on the floor. Emil Zunt's hidden honeymoon hideaway in the Poconos. You or anybody else, and the sooner you realize that, Rose, the happier we'll all be. Come on, Blanche. Come on. Ladies, I think a toast is in order. Here's to the woman of the hour, a woman whose grace and kindness and warmth and concern for others is an inspiration to us all. Here's to Blanche. And he's mad at her. Think what he's going to say about me. Oh, my, I hate it when you're right, and I guess I knew you were right all along. What are you going to do, Doctor? Well, I'll have to have a talk with Eddie. I mean, it is obvious that this relationship has to taper off. <laughs> All right, I'll end it. A beautiful young woman with breasts not unlike Bridget Nielsen, except has moved when she skipped. <laughs> 
she comes walking down a picturesque country road when suddenly a yellow Rolls Royce pulls up and blocks her path. Oh, who was in the Rolls? Rose, tell me, how long have you been standing here? Dorothy, I heard you talking to that little mouse. It was beautiful. I wasn't talking to a mouse. Yes, you were. I saw you. I was kidding. Dorothy, it's nothing to be ashamed of. There are only a few of us privileged to have the gift to communicate. Hello? Oh, hi. Yes, I heard you called. What a pleasant surprise. Well, I, well, I, I'm pretty sure I can make it. Just let me check my book. <laughs> Pencils down. Where's everybody? Just you and me, Blanche. Well, looks like we're finally at the crossroads. Whatever do you mean? I mean, uh, I know you've been... Trust me, Raymond, there is no way Ma is going with us to the Bahamas. I promise. I promise I'll tell her. I hope you will. You've been so understanding about Ma. I appreciate it. Oh, it's okay. I respect your being so considerate of your mother. Thank you. Have you ever considered having her put a... I get those antique silver earrings that you never let me borrow. You're on. No, come on, Blanche. Blanche, do you want to have a side bet with me? Well, I would, Rose, but everything you own is so damn ugly. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to whip your butt. I haven't been out of this apartment in 22 years. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't know. Enjoy your dinner. How pathetic. A person could live their life totally alone, devoid of... <laughs> you know, I could really get tired of this. Good morning, girls. Dorothy, you're a mess. No, I just spilled orange juice on myself. Oh, really? I didn't notice that. <laughs> uh, poor Blanche, some... Pathetic. <laughs> it's okay, Ma. I understand. You're a good daughter, Gloria. You're both good daughters. Most people my age have children trying to get rid of them. My children are fighting over who gets to keep me. You don't know how much that means to an old lady. Anna, you... Hello, I'm, I'm Dorothy. I'm Sophia's daughter. Augustine Bagatelli. Oh. Well, I'm sure you two have a great deal to catch up on. Nice to have met you. Oh, Ma, I'll be right here in the kitchen in case he gets fresh. <laughs> Sorry. 